Jack Daniels 12-Year Whiskey is their highest age statement offering in recent years. While the suggested retail price is at $95, US you'll be hard-pressed to find it at that price. That being said, how good is the most recent release and what price is acceptable in the current market? All of that will be answered in this whiskey review. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. First, a little bit of background. This whiskey from the Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee has a mash fill of 80% corn, 12% rye, and 8% malted barley. After being charcoal mellowed, the distillate was aged in new toasted and charred American white oak barrels for several years in the upper floors of the barrel house before being moved to the lower level ricks for some extended maturation. After a total of 12 years, this whiskey was then proofed down and bottled at 53.5% alcohol by volume or 107 proof, with a volume of 700 milliliters per bottle. This particular batch of Jack Daniels 12 year, batch 2, was released to market on February 5th, 2024. In preparation, I opened the bottle and poured a small amount of it into a separate container about one week before tasting, to let the whiskey in the bottle open up a bit. For my review, I'm pouring around one ounce of it into a clean Glencairn glass. Now onto the notes. Starting with the color, it's a beautiful dark amber hue when poured into a Glencairn with nice long legs forming on the side of the glass. I did my best to show these, but the camera doesn't pick them up too well. My first notes were taken after around 10 minutes of resting in a Glencairn, with a whiskey between 75 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. For the nose, I get caramelized banana, banana fosters, caramel and honey, buttery flaky pastry crust, which you might find on a baklava, banana spring roll, another great pastry, and there is also vanilla, light cinnamon, chart oak, and creme brulee, mainly caramelized sugar. I can practically taste the sweetness of this whiskey just from smelling it, and there is basically no alcohol smell whatsoever. For the palate, I am immediately hit by a wave of caramelized banana and sweet flaky pastry notes followed by vanilla, honey, and mellow oak. It has a bold, viscous, and silky mouthfeel that coats the palate extremely well. The consistency and even some flavor notes are akin to warmed maple syrup with a bit of oily butter, and the real maple syrup that is fairly thin as far as syrups go, not the super thick corn syrup you find at diners. It's not harsh and there's very little burn for its proof point and no bitterness. Still, it gives a nice warm hug feeling. Again, the alcohol taste takes a back row seat. Finally, the finish. Once again, there is no bitterness and the flavors just slowly fade from the palate and leave predominant notes of overripe banana, brown or caramelized sugar, and oak. It remains strong for well over a minute with lingering flavor long after that, five or more minutes. Next, I let the whiskey rest for 30 minutes to see if it opened up at all and revealed any new flavors or qualities. For the nose, there were new subtle hints of raisin, apple, and other stone fruits coming through, but most of the previously mentioned notes remained present and strong. On the palate, the flavors were even more intense. Sweetness was amped up with more maple syrup, and there was a very subtle hint of wine on the back palate. I didn't find too significant of a change on the finish, and it was still just as long and rich. Now let's move on to the score and value of this whiskey. For me, Jack Daniels 12 Year Batch 2 is easily a 9 out of 10. It's one of the best whiskeys I've ever had, up there alongside bottles like Knob Creek 18 Year and Heaven Hill 18 Year. I can only imagine what it would be like if it was kept at a very probable hazmat barrel proof. The MSRP is right around $100 and I paid $160 and for that price I'm fairly happy. If it's in your budget and you really enjoy Jack Daniels, then it's probably worth getting if you can find it for $200 or under. Even if you aren't a fan of Jack Daniels, this is pretty much a must try if you can find it at $120 or below. In my opinion, it's definitely not worth the insane secondary market prices that I've seen that are usually upwards of $300 and that I've seen as high as $900. I can only hope that we don't see a similar situation with this offering like we do with Pappy or other highly allocated and sought after bottles. If you can't find it or want to try something similar for cheaper, then look into Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof offerings. 
either the straight Tennessee whiskey or better yet, the rye. Jack Daniels Barrel Proof is fairly close to and definitely has a similar flavor profile as the 12 year, but it's got more ethanol and less flavor and complexity thereof. That said, if you like the Barrel Proof, chances are that you'll love the 12 year. Compared to the Barrel Proof offerings, the 12 year is just one or maybe even two steps up. It has what can only be gotten from those several extra years aging in a barrel. That being said, the barrel proof offerings are much more readily available than the 12 year and usually not marked up. For around $65, it's a much better value proposition when compared to the 12 year for secondary market prices. In any case, those are my thoughts and opinions of Jack Daniels 12 year batch 2 whiskey. Now, if you want to share your thoughts and opinions, you can do so in the comments. If you want to see more great content, you can head over to my channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Both me and my cat Marshmallow greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Friday. Please drink responsibly. And as always, thanks for watching.